Hello, my friend. Today I'm going to tell you once more why I don't like Bitcoin. Bitcoin is not a productive asset. Its value depends on what the next guy is willing to pay. And it's speculative. Uh, you know, it's just like investing in gold, but gold, even gold has uh, commercial uses, you know, for jewelry, right? And it has industrial uses for manufacturing and uh, it's also used for investment. But Bitcoin is not, you know, I mean, Bitcoin, they say it's like a currency. I don't think a currency can be that volatile as Bitcoin is, but let's assume that Bitcoin is a currency. So, uh, cash is a currency the, the u.s dollar is a currency but who in their right mind would invest in u.s dollars imagine that putting ten thousand dollars in cash under your mattress that's investing in, in the u.s dollar it's the same thing you're doing when you buy a bitcoin you put ten thousand dollars in bitcoin you put ten thousand dollars under your mattress and hope that in the future somebody is willing to pay more for that bitcoin that you stuck under your mattress it's insane you know, it doesn't make any sense. It's like leaving money in your checking account. If you are like a, like a, a US investor and you decide to buy the Euro, um, like you would buy Bitcoin, you wouldn't leave the money in a checking account in Euros, would you? I mean, you would obviously invest in something else like European stocks or bonds or something, not leave it in cash right so that's exactly what you're doing when you invest in bitcoin you're putting it in cash under your mattress and not to mention there's going to be a lot more regulation coming into uh, regulate bitcoin and bitcoin has a problem with climate change you know it takes a lot of energy to harvest or to mine a bitcoin as they say and the most important thing of why i don't like bitcoin is because let's be honest I don't really understand what what the hell Bitcoin is. <laughs> it's uh, but you know I don't need to understand it. There's so many other good investing alternatives out there that I don't have to bother with learning about Bitcoin and understanding Bitcoin. I mean, if you invest in an index fund, you can make so much more money. It's amazing, you know. And I see so many YouTube gurus, investment gurus, trying to tell you how good Bitcoin is and, and, and you know, they, they have all these ideas about investing. And many of these YouTubers uh, tell you up front, you know, I, I, I never, I never finished uh, college, you know, I, I never even finished high school. And <laughs> some of them are in the twenties and they hold out themselves to be experts in giving financial advice and people, people believe them. And there's the, you know what they are? They're really good at putting on a show and, and doing nice videos with nice editing and nice graphs. And they, they say, well, I, I taught myself how to day trade and I'm day trading now and I'm making millions of dollars. And all you need to do is buy my expensive course that I sell to you over the internet so that you can do it too, right? I mean, they're, they're offering get-rich-quick schemes, which are really illusions. And uh, sometimes their advice is flat out wrong, like trying to time the market, something we all know is a bad idea. But, uh, but they are good at selling and they are, you know, very proficient and they make some videos that, boy, you watch them and you, and you, wanna, you wanna buy the course because you want that financial freedom that they offer. They dangle a carrot in front of you that is very, very desirable. And it's a shame. You know, and I think people that peddle Bitcoin are sometimes doing the same thing. I don't think Bitcoin is going to end up well. Um, of course, I may be mistaken, but this is my opinion. And you know what? For the average investor, you don't need to worry about Bitcoin. Just buy uh, stock index fund that's true and tried and in the long term you will be rewarded by its uh, performance believe me I wish you the best my friend be well